Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. Today we are starting off with a special treat. It is a soup that my mother prepared. It's actually a potato soup, but it has shrimp in it, which whenever she told me what she made, I was like, that's kind of a different combination, but I mean, I wasn't opposed. I haven't tried it yet. Mal, what do you think? It's good? good. Good? Okay, well, I'm excited to try some of this. My mother has never made bad food. Well, if she's ever made bad food, I've never tasted it. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Wow. Mom, that was a good job. See, that's another benefit of living close by. My dad knocked on the door today and he was like, your mother made a lot of soup. So we brought you some. So we are able to eat some of this delicious soup tonight, which is fantastic. Oh, other thing I'm gonna mention, I'm gonna come back to that soup in just a second, but uh, we got, you see that box in there on the floor. That's our uh, bookshelf that we ordered. So right after dinner, we're gonna attempt to put this bookshelf together. Hopefully we won't kill ourselves. Oh boy. So what have we what have we got here? Lots of puzzle pieces. Oh geez. Well at least we've got it out on the floor getting started. Uh, with any luck we'll be able to actually finish it in one evening. That's what I'm hoping for. I actually found this particular model. It's called Media Tower Elite. And I think it's from the company Atlantic. It was uh, less than $100. I think we got it for 98 bucks. And uh, the reviews were kind of mixed. There were people that used to own these, and apparently a while back they used to be made nicer. And the people that used to buy them and had their old models that wanted to buy more because their collections were getting bigger, um, they were really upset because the quality like decreased quite a bit because these used to be thicker and stuff. Actually, um, this used to weigh like 60 pounds for the entire box of everything and now it weighs like 40 so they they kind of skimped on everything but from what I read in the reviews it seemed that you know the people that bought it before they had the nicer ones they were upset because the quality decreased but people that bought it new that bought this version were like oh, it's fine I mean you know it's a hundred dollars what do you expect so I went with it We'll just see what happens. But the shelves are only this big, which is actually, like, apparently, like, the DVD cases actually come off of the shelf by a little bit, so... That's a little troublesome, but once again, it was $100, so what do you expect? Okay, we have put the unit together. This is the back, obviously. Now we have to put on the back of the back. The Probably decorative part. The de decorative part. Even it looks like that. Even though it's not really going to matter because there's going to be games literally filling the shelves. You'll never be able to see the back anyway. Well, but it helps keep it square. Sure, we'll go with that. Because it's pretty wobbly. It is. That's, it looks awful. It is crazy <laughs> wobbly. I mean, it is what it is. If you need a storage solution that'll hold a piss load of games and you don't want to pay much like we did, then, you know, here's your option. And it's working. It will probably work for us, but it is really wobbly. Um, another problem I've, I've already noticed is that there's holes on the back of this thing because they connect to this, but there's not holes in this. The electric screwdriver would help or drill would help, but we, we don't have one. Those, so I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to try to put these in and see what happens. Here's the other fun thing. We're supposed to have K, L, L. And M. And M says this side down on it. So here's K. And um, here's this side down with an M. But instead of L, we have another M and another M. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the finest piece of hardware we have ever put together. But to be fair, it wasn't very expensive. And I think once we get the back on to get it mounted to the wall, it'll stay. Maybe, hopefully. There it is. It's not done, but you know, it's mostly, mostly there. I mean, it's finished, but we have to mount it to the wall. And you need a drill, and we didn't have a drill, so we just kind of finagled it using uh, Allen wrenches. But we couldn't get it all the way in there, so we just gave up. We had one anchor of our own, so we started it on this side, but we got to screw it into this. And we can't do it because we don't have a screwdriver this small, so 
have to work on that tomorrow. I think I can get the the anchor that came with it in there if I hammer it. But I don't want to hammer it at uh, well midnight. Yes, it's midnight. We got started on that thing at 8:30. We probably had it together within like 30, 45 minutes. But then it took hours to put the back on. Like crazy, crazy, crazy amount of time. Anyway. Um, as I'm right at the end there, like starting to mount it to the wall, I hear the, the guy upstairs scream down through the floor, I have to get up in the morning at work. And I actually didn't know what time it was. So I was like, what time is it? So we come out here and we're like, oh God, it's midnight, which we didn't, you know, realize it was that late because we could start at 8.30. So, I mean, I felt bad, but at the same time, not really. Not really, because earlier, that jackass and this woman screamed at each other. I mean screamed so much that they shook my walls and they screamed for hours 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 so I mean maybe their arguments are, are one of the reasons that the guy is on edge and is yelling at me um, to be fair we made pretty much no noise until we tried to mount it to the wall and uh, I mean we weren't aware that it was midnight otherwise we would have stopped but it was one of those things that once we started and he yelled, you know, we felt bad, but we had come that far and we had stood it up and we were like, well, we better at least try to get this somewhat attached to the wall because we don't want it to like fall over or anything. So it's like sort of attached to the wall. And uh, I think I'll have dad come over tomorrow because he's probably got a screwdriver that's small enough to get in there and actually get it tight. So I'll take care of it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that was my bookshelf adventure. <laughs> And I hope you enjoyed it. And once we get it fastened and stuff tomorrow, we'll be able to put the games on it. And um, we'll actually be able to put these games on it because I told you guys the other day that I was a little worried about sun damage. So, you know, hopefully we'll be able to put them in there and they won't take sun damage, which is good. Anyway, it is far too late. And uh, I have yet another day where I'm going to get fr no freaking sleep, which is sad. But you know, what, do you get? what do you do? I don't know. At least we got the bookshelf, you know, pretty much done, so I'll finish it up tomorrow. I'm so tired. This is like the third night in a row where we've had like five hours of sleep. It sucks. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?